if this goes down the way that we hope and expect it to, then for NFL defenses, it's game over for you, buddies. Team, keep it clean. Leave a like on the video like y'all have been doing. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on. And let's get straight into it. Isaiah Likely, the weapon that he is, the monster of a titan that he is. And I will continue to say this. If he was a starter, he would no doubt in my mind be at least at minimum, a top one, two, three, four, five tight end in the NFL. Not the AFC, not the AFC, but the entire league. I'm 1,000% sure about that. But anyway, Isaiah Likely, ever since he was a rookie, he came on a scene, he had that strong preseason, and then we envisioned him and Mark Andrews together and what those two could possibly do. We were like, oh, yeah. But then the season came, and it was like, oh, no, they didn't really do much together. So then it was like, all right, that was his rookie season. Maybe he felt a little out of place. Maybe he was adjusting to life in the NFL. All right, cool. We'll see about his sophomore season. So his sophomore season was last year. And we had those same visions like, oh, man, can Isaiah Likely and Mark Andrews coexist? Can they do this thing together? Can they make it happen to where they're sort of an Aaron Hernandez and Gronk together only on the field, of course. And we were hyped about it. We were excited about it. So then the regular season came and Mark Andrews, he was doing his thing as usual. You know how that goes. But then Isaiah Likely, he would be so quiet. We wouldn't hear, really hear anything about him. And when they were on the field together, we just didn't see these mismatches like crazy like we had expected. But then we did see Isaiah Likely's emergence. We saw him go off, but it was only when Mark Andrews went out. And then when the two got back on the field at the same time, it was a lot of crickets again. So now maybe this third year will be the charm. But we've talked about that a lot. We, we've continued to talk about how we expect both Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely to really make a big impact on this offense. So we don't need to beat a dead horse, but Isaiah Likely is looking like he wants to put a new spin, not only on this offense, but on his role in particular. And what do we mean by when we say that? Well, shout out to the Baltimore Ravens and Ryan Ming specifically because they published an article today that talked about what Isaiah Likely is looking to do. And it says, Isaiah Likely is focused on becoming a chess piece in Ravens offense. Now, when you hear about somebody being a chess piece in an offense, it's not them just excelling at whatever it is that they currently do already. I mean, that's part of it, but it's more than that because they want to do a little bit of everything. But let's see what the article had to say. It says, armed with two premier tight ends in Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely, the Ravens want to get them on the field more at the same time in 2024. And yeah, that, we want them to do the same thing too because they are both mismatch nightmares. They are both significant weapons. They are both tight ends that Lamar Jackson got the ultimate trust for. He really does. Obviously, we've seen Lamar Jackson's trust with Mark Andrews throughout the years, but last year, we really saw it with Isaiah Likely. But anyway, back to the article. It says, how do they do it? Likely wants to make it easier by blurring the lines. During minicamp, Isaiah Likely said he's focused on learning all of the receiving positions in year two of Todd Munkin's offense. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And you could think, all right, Isaiah Likely is a tight end, and he did his thing last year, but can he really learn all the receiving positions? Can he learn X receiver, Y receiver, Z receiver, tight end, and all that stuff? Can, can he really do all that? Well, you think about this. Remember, Isaiah Likely, he wasn't always a tight end. He was a receiver before. So with Isaiah Likely already having that experience, that makes the job, and I don't want to say the transition because he's still going to be a tight end, but if he's looking to do a little bit of everything – then that will make it so much smoother. And again, if this goes as planned, if this goes how Isaiah Likely wants it to go and how we want it to go for Isaiah Likely, oh. And then again, you got Mark Andrews on the field. <laughs> then you got Zay Fly. <laughs> Bait about to go off on you. <laughs> Boy, Jackson, Derrick Henry. Oh, my goodness. Wait till we get that boy Keaton Mitchell back, too. And we ain't even done yet. We still got more people that we got left to talk about. But just thinking about that, Isaiah likely lining up at so many different spots. Now, this is something that Ravens fans have actually been calling for for a while now. A lot of Ravens fans have been saying this. They've been saying Isaiah likely he might as well be a wide receiver. They can line him up at, at so many different places on offense, and you can. Like Ryan Mink mentioned, he said likely wants to make it easier by blurring the lines. If he's just lining up next to the offensive line in those traditional uh, tight end roles and those traditional tight end positions, then that can make it easier for defenses to figure him out. But if you got him lining up on the outside, lining up in the slot, lining up next to the offensive, you got him lining up in all these different places, 
that makes it that much harder. But let, let's get back to the article. It says, it's being a chess piece, being anywhere Monk needs me to be in this offense. Whether it's in the slot, in line, in the backfield. We didn't even talk about that. We didn't even talk about him lining up in the backfield. That's something else that could drive defenses crazy. Because think about this. You already, defenses are tired of Lamar. If I was a fan of any other football team and we were going against the Baltimore Ravens, I would be super stressed out. Because I'm like, oh, this dude Lamar, this dude could play like crazy, and he plays crazy, and I know what my defense, are we going to be able to stop him? Even if we can't stop him, can we contain him? Because he would just be annoying because he just does so many different things, and his impact on the game is on a whole nother level. But then you got a Derrick Henry next to him. Oh, now we got to deal with Derrick Henry, too. Oh, here we go. And then you think, oh, we got to deal with Money Mark Andrews. Here we go. And the list can go on. But when you see them lined up, and you'll see Lamar Jackson in the backfield, you'll see a Derrick Henry in the backfield. But then if they mess around and put Isaiah Likely back there, too, it's like, what are they going to do with him? What's getting ready to happen? That could be so frustrating, just the thought of it, even as a fan alone. So imagine as a defensive coordinator, imagine as an actual defensive player, if you saw something like that, how that would make you feel. Ooh, that'd be frustrating. Anyway, back to the article. It says, whether it's in the slot, in line, in the backfield, split out wide by myself, the more you know, the more you can stay on the field. Oh, I like that. That's the right mentality right there. The more you know, the more you can stay on the field. And we've seen with these Baltimore Ravens, we already know the more you can do. That's been a saying. John Harbaugh hasn't necessarily said that, but I have definitely, we have definitely seen that throughout John Harbaugh's tenure as a head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. The more you can do, the more opportunity that you could possibly get. It says, in the eight games after he stepped in for the injured Mark Andrews, likely caught 25 passes for 372 yards and six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. What the Ravens would love to figure out is how to get that kind of production, even when Mark Andrews is on the field. Yes, that's true. That's what we would love to see. Because we know Mark Andrews on the field by himself, he'll produce. Isaiah Likely on the field by himself, he can produce. But when they both on the field together, uh, yeah, it ain't been so pretty. Because we want to see these guys Because we know the, 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 the capability is there The ability is there But it's just a matter of putting it all on the field at the same time We want to see these boys turn into Aaron Hernandez and Gronk Only on the field, of course you know, you know, stuff. But we know these boys can go off Like even what's crazy about them Is that PFF even gives them respect like PFF, like let, let, let's, let's pull this list up real quick one time Because PFF, it listed the best duos at each offensive position Now, we're so used to the Baltimore Ravens being disrespected in a million and one different ways But we gotta commend these articles and stuff when they actually give the Ravens their proper respect And this is something that PFF did So, the best duos at each offensive position At running back, Raheem Mostert and... Uh, Devonna Chain. Now, real quick with that, I wonder, had the Ravens, all of their running backs been healthy, if they could have messed around for that top spot? Because think of, like, uh, it's, it's so frustrating. I'm so frustrated for him. And I know when he comes back, he's going to be right. But you think about Derrick Henry and Keaton Mitch. Oh, my goodness. It's so sad that we ain't going to get there for a while. But anyway, Raheem Mostert and Devonna Chain. Then at wide receiver, Tariq Hill and Jalen Waddle. No arguments for me. Even with a Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, I would still take Tyreek Hill and Jalen Wilder. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. Both of them are trouble. But I, my personal opinion, I feel like Tyreek Hill is the best wide receiver in the game. Better than Justin Jefferson, in my opinion. Now, Jeff, Je Justin Jefferson is great. He is amazing. But I still feel like Tyreek Hill is the best. But anyway, what we got to get here for, what we came to talk about, the best tight end duos in the, in the league, Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely. I love it. I love it. I, I, I love it because it makes sense. The NFL or PFF, they're respecting what they know these boys can do. At tackle and guard, we ain't really worried about that. But anyway, we want to see it happen. So, Todd Munkin, please, let's get this thing done. Mark Andrews, I say, I like to please, let's get this thing done. Lamar Jackson, let's get this thing done because if they can get it done, then it's game over for the rest of the league.